It's school time. Every student knows they should study. But are there bad ways to study? How do you know the best way to help your brain learn new information? We're going to look at seven tips for how to study well. Let's get started. Sometimes a student is nervous about a test and spends hours and hours studying the day before. Actually, this isn't the best way to study. Break your study time into small chunks. For example, take that same three hours and split it up into six 30-minute chunks of studying over several days. You still spend the same amount of time studying, but small, consistent chunks help your brain remember the information you're studying longer. When is a good time to study? It's usually not a good idea to study when your body and your brain are tired. Losing sleep by studying can actually negatively affect your memory and reasoning for up to four days. Find a time when you are fully awake. Also, keep the same study schedule. Choose a good time to study and do it at the same time every week or every day. Your body and your brain will get used to studying at that time and studying will actually become easier as your brain and body prepare itself automatically at that time to learn new information. What about music? It's true that some research has shown that certain kinds of classical music affects learning. However, more recent research shows that music doesn't help the brain learn. In fact, music can distract your brain from focusing all of its attention on your studying. So take a break from the music and try some silence. What about goals? It's important to have goals when you study. Decide what you are going to focus on and what you want to learn by the end of your study time. For example, Maybe a goal is to perfect your spelling words. Maybe you want to memorize a list of vocabulary words. Maybe you want to finish reading a specific number of pages. Or memorize different verb forms like simple, past, and past participles. Research was done on two groups of students. They were both told to study the same information. One group was told they were studying for a test. The second group of students were told they were going to teach others the information they studied. The students who studied in order to teach others scored higher on the tests. Your brain remembers and organizes information better if you are learning something to teach others. Try learning something pretending you are going to teach it after the test. What about the tools you use for studying? Tools like highlighters might look nice, and they can be helpful to organize, but research shows that highlighting while you read doesn't actually help you understand better. And it could even distract you from the main idea or connecting ideas. Flashcards, however, are proven to be an excellent way to memorize information. Flashcards are a great way to study vocabulary words, spelling words, and verb conjugations. And you can use them during your scheduled study times or during off times like a bus ride home. Practice, practice, practice. The more that you practice your English skills, the better you will become. This is true with writing. If you know you will be writing for a test, practice writing your paragraph or essay multiple times. After each draft, read your work and make any changes needed. Then write it again. Keep practicing writing until there are no more errors to fix or changes needed. Practice can help for tests too. Use your book or worksheets from the teacher to practice questions for a test. Go to the computer lab and practice grammar on one of the computer programs. The more you practice, the more you will improve. So where should you study? Research shows that finding a special place to study every time helps your brain and body prepare to learn new information. Make a space with all the supplies you need for studying, so you don't have to spend time finding anything when your books are open. 
and make sure your study area doesn't have distractions like music, your phone, or Facebook. Well, I hope you enjoyed these study tips. Now you are prepared to study better than ever. Good luck!